Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan and welcome to another edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Today I'm going to talk to you about making conformal parts. Now this is pretty simple, uh, so this won't take long, but uh, all these rockets up here have some conformal parts on them, such as this tunnel cover on the Saturn 1B, as you can see, uh, it conforms to the curvature of the tube, and that's what we mean by conforming parts. Um, here on the Ariane, uh, we have these uh, fairings that the fins are attached to, and again, that conforms to the tube. Um, over here on the Soyuz, we have these little parts down here on the bottom, and uh, these uh, drag brakes up here on the top. These also are conforming parts. Um, the, the Quest multiple, uh, Max Launch Abort System rocket uh, has these little parts here on the front, on the nose cone. Uh, that conform to the curvature of the part. And finally, here on the uh, Semrock Hydra 7, we have these nose cones uh, that, uh, this is a seven engine cluster, and each of these tubes has a nose cone, but only half of the nose cone. And these, these nose cones are like fingers where they actually grab this tube, and that's basically the only thing holding this tube to the bottom section, is the fingers on the nose cone which conform. Now if these don't uh, have the proper curvature you're going to have gaps under there which can allow exhaust gases to go around uh, preventing the nose cone from coming off and it also is going to weaken the part. If they're not strong this top part can, uh, can fall off theoretically. So we have to make uh, the parts uh, conform properly. Uh, where you're probably going to run into this is on uh, long fins like this that are pretty thin compared to their, their length. Say if this was attached here on this side, you can see there's not much surface area on this fin that's going to grab it and, hold it and hold it to the tube. Um, if we double up on the thickness, or in this case I have three pieces of balsa wood, um, then I can uh, really get a lot of glue surface area here, but if it doesn't conform it's still going to be kind of wobbly. Now on this one here, I've actually gone ahead and sanded the inside edge. There's a curvature to it, and it grabs the uh, curvature of the tube, and when I glue it up, it's going to be very strong. And the technique on doing this is just to take a piece of sandpaper and wrap it around the tube, and then take your fin, or whatever part you're doing, and we're going to sand, and we want to grab it close to the root edge, and we only want to go forward and back, not side to side. Uh, because if we do that, we're not going to have um, uniform curvature on the whole part. So do this kind of slow, it, and it won't take very long, depending on the, uh, the amount of curvature that you need. See, I'm just about I'm done there already. See, I got, I got the curvature already in the edge. Um, and when you have it perfect, there'll be no gaps when you put it on the tube. If there's any gaps on the edges, then go ahead and just keep sanding a little bit more. So that piece is done. Now you can do the same thing with uh, canopies on uh, nose cones or on, uh, on body tubes like on this rocket here and these fingers here, I call them fingers because they grab, uh, these nose cones here on the, on the Hydra 7 are done basically the same way. If this was a nose cone and this is going to be a canopy, um, as right now it's got a flat bottom, but if we just take it and just start doing that same process we'll get a curvature on the bottom and it will just it will look really nice on that tube. And again, I got almost done there. Try to use long strokes that uh, gets, makes the fast work of it. I'm getting good curvature there, but it's going to take a little bit more. 
But uh, basically that's the technique and you just keep checking your work and uh, if there's any gaps along that edge right there just keep sanding until you get it right. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Come visit the Apogee website at www.apogeerockets.com and we'll see you in about two weeks.